Well, hey folks, how y'all doing? And we are back in the shop. And I tell you what, what we were looking at here. I'm kind of excited about, I'm really excited about this one because it's a different type of clamping device, especially when it comes to making like uh, frames. And you see, we, we've got some, uh, we've got some picture frames here. We're going to be putting together just out of some trim. Uh, some of these pre-finished trim that it's got just this vinyl coating on there, kind of cheap. But but you know what? When it comes to making frames, they they work very nicely. And this little gadget here uh, is uh, actually pretty cool. So what we're going to do is going to take a look at where we got from. Very inexpensive. This whole thing right here is forty bucks. Pretty cheap. Very well made. Very, in my opinion, very precision precision made. And uh, we're going to show you how we're going to use it. We're going to show you where we got it from. And obviously, I just told you how much it should have cost, but we'll take a look at that again, too. So let's keep let's keep going. All right, there it is online. You're saying, Tom, where do you get this from? Banggood.com. There's a lot of cool little tools on there, and this is one of them. It's a Drill Pro 2-set two, two woodworking precision clamping square, L-shaped auxiliary figure. There's a lot there. Fixture splicing board positioning. Uh, carpenter square ruler woodworking tool for 40 bucks, folks. But what I'm using it for, and I think a lot of you would probably agree, is this is uh, great for clamping up and doing picture frames. So let's take a closer look at it. We're going to put a carpenter square on it just to check it for squareness. And uh, we're actually going to make a frame. All right, you're looking at what you get in the kit. You get, uh, everything is machined very nice. It's out of aluminum. And uh, the nice thing about it is that you can really see how we can put it at different holes here, depending upon the size of wood you're using. And it does have some... Uh, markings here on the side i'm not sure that i would ever use it now i've got my uh my old trusty stanley square here i've had this i bet you for 20 years and i know this is good to go but uh we put this on there and you can see i don't see any light so nice and square let's check it on the outside using the old reliable stanley square and you, you can see it is very square. Like I said, this thing is machined and it's made very nicely. That's why when I say for 40 bucks, not bad. And when it comes to making picture frames, especially when you're doing 45s, it's really important that you have something that's good and square and it's got some beef to it. Uh, I think this is, I like this because you're, you're not limited on size. You can use your bench top and lay everything flat, lay it out real nice. Uh, you could do two sides once, you know, two at a time here, put a little glue and then shoot a brad on both ones. And before you know it, you got yourself a picture frame. So let's, uh, let's see how it works. Put, put a picture frame together. All right. Ease of use is what I like. I got a little woodworking glue on the uh, joint there and I'm just lining things up and then just going to tighten these down, get them snug. This one too, get it snug. Tighten it down a little bit more. Now the nice thing about it is that right now it leaves this open right here. So it's very easy to pick this up as you can see I'm doing. And if you want to shoot a brad in through there, you can. And uh, that's what we're going to do. And that's what I like about it because it leaves your ends open here so you can shoot a brad through. All right, yeah, one side, I'm just, I actually, I'm shooting pins in there. And you can see how I'm just setting the next side. Got the glue on there already. And I'm just going to position our board here, use this as a square, and then put it in one of our holes here, loosen this up a little bit, and just get this snug on this side like that. And then uh, we'll do the same thing on that side like this. What was the one I was using? I think it was this one right here. And go, uh, we'll go three holes up again and just loosen it up a little bit like that. Make sure everything is positioned the way you want it. Remember, this is a square, so it'll keep things nice and square and just snug it up. Snug up this side. Get a little bit tighter. It's holding so now we're gonna shoot a we're gonna shoot a pin in both those sides all right let's put our last side on there like i said this makes it super simple line things up and then you put your two squares one here one here and then just put your clamps on i'll, sh I'll show you what it looks like all right and there it is throw a couple pins in and then you can take those out and your picture frame is done. I tell you what, folks, these things are really super nice. All right, and there's our picture frame. Easy peasy, folks. It's kind of how I store them. I kind of put them together like this. That way I don't lose any of the parts and pieces. Put it back in the drawer. Next time I got to build a picture frame, pull them out. And I, I tell you what, a lot of, 
a lot of uses for this, but it does a really nice job as I showed you here. Really quick and simple picture frame using uh, these $40, uh, very accurate uh, clamps for doing picture frames. Banggood.com, folks. Check them out. Tom Horseman at YouTube. Thumbs up, leave a comment. And as always, I appreciate you watching. Thank you.